Hey, problem solvers, Colfax Math here. Today's video, we're gonna find the volume of three-dimensional circular objects like a cone, a sphere, and a cylinder. These are all made out of wood in the wood shop. Uh, it's pretty easy, just kind of plugging in formulas and making sure you keep track of PEMDAS, which is order of operations. So let me put the camera over my shoulder and we'll find the volume of these three things. So let's start with just a circle. So this would be a circle centered at point uh, C, say. So that's the center of the circle. From the center to the outside is a radius, represented with the lowercase r. All the way across the circle through the center is diameter. Diameter. A chord goes from one side of the circle to the other without going through the center. And then this right here is called an arc of a circle, that would be arc AB. You can find the measure of the arc um, or the length of the arc. The measure would be an angle and the length would be the portion of the circumference you're talking about. Circumference, which is all the way around the outside, is equal to two pi r or diameter times pi. Area, which is how much is inside the circle, area is pi r squared. Pi is just a number, it's a ratio of circumference divided by diameter, and it's approximated with the number 3.14. If I knew the radius of this circle is equal to four, I take that four and I plug it into the equation right here. Order of operations is PEMDAS, meaning parentheses first, Exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. So the first thing you have to do is exponents. So you have to take that 4 and then you square it. So 4 squared is 16 times pi. You could leave it in terms of pi like that. That would be considered an exact value. Or if you wanted to, you could multiply that out and get an approximate value. So an approximate value, you would go 16 times, here's pi right here, pi, and you would get 50.26, and you would round that to 50.3. So that's the area of a circle. Next, let's take a look at the area of a cylinder. So a cylinder has the same circle on the bottom as the top. It's gonna have a radius as well and it's gonna have a height. Volume of a cylinder is area of the bottom, pi r squared, times the height. Let's say this cylinder has a radius of three and a height of six inches. Its volume would be equal to pi r squared. r is three, three squared is nine, nine pi times a height of six. Nine times six is 54 times pi, and if we're talking about inches, I do inches times inches times inches, which is cubic inches. So that's a good answer, 54 pi cubic inches, or I could approximate it on a calculator and go 54 pi, and get the decimal approximation, 169.6 cubic inches. These are the same answers. This is exact, this is approximate. Next, let's take a look at the volume of a sphere. Um, spheres are kind of cool to turn on a lathe. You turn them on this axis and you rotate them and turn them on that axis. Um, volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. So let's say the radius on this thing is five feet. I'm gonna just plug that in here. So the volume is gonna be 4 thirds times pi times the radius five foot cubed, cubed means five times five times five. So five times five, 25, times five, 125. So I have four thirds pi r cubed is 125. Um, and I'm just gonna enter that all on a calculator. So this is an answer. Four thirds and 125 won't cancel in any integers. So once I use a calculator, I multiply it all out. 
So the first thing I'm going to do on my calculator is do 4 divided by 3, get the decimal approximation of 4 thirds, multiply that by pi, and then multiply that by 125, and I have a volume of a sphere, in this case with a 5 foot radius, of 523.6 cubic feet. Lastly, let's take a look at the volume of a cone. That's going to be the volume of a cylinder divided by 3. So let's take a look at that. It's a cool wooden cone here. Volume of a cone is 1 third pi r squared times height. This is only for a right cone, which means you have your radius here. The top of the cone is perpendicular to the base. So let's say we have a height of 6 inches and a radius of 4 inches. I take those values and I plug them in, and the volume of that cone is 1 third pi r squared r, the radius 4, is 16, 4 times 4, times that height of 6. So the way I do that on my calculator is I go 1 divided by 3, 0.3, times pi, times 16, times 6. And the volume of that cone is 100.5 cubic inches. So that's the volume of a cylinder, wooden cylinder in this case, volume of a sphere, 4 thirds pi r cubed, and the volume of a cone. The key things to remember are really kind of the definitions of a circle, the radius, well, the diameter, area of a circle is pi r squared. All right, well, hopefully that video helped.